Yes, women are attracted to men that are slightly emotionally unavailable. Now, I know I triggered a lot of people, especially women, right? Especially women. I know I triggered a whole bunch of women and they're rolling their eyes at the title and cursing me out right now. Right. Like this damn Arab encouraging mistreatment and all that stuff. I get it. I get it. But quick disclaimer, this is not a video encouraging mis, uh, you know, mistreating young ladies. Right. Or doing anything malicious. And I know when I say emotionally unavailable, it's that term is inherently negative. I understand but I'm not using it in a negative type of way. I'm using it in a way that is somewhat realistic. That's natural, okay? Because when a lot of people say emotionally unavailable, right? It's just referring to someone that's just stone cold Medusa, right? No feelings, no regard for humans, just a complete prick. And that's not what I'm referring to. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to understand that by nature, by nature, women are the ones that are a little more emotional. So they're looking for someone to counterbalance that, right? They're looking for someone to balance that because two people that are emotional, right? It's not going to work. It is just not going to work. Get this Disneyland fairy tale out of your head that a man being a super emotional just lay it all on the t table and whisking the women away and, and getting married on on a romantic sunset island in Tahiti and shit like get that get that out of your head that's not how it is like the man is not when when women run into a man that is super emotional Super and 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 I'm not saying for the man to just like I said I'm not saying for the man to be just a complete emotionless prick. We all have emotions. We all have emotions. We all got feelings, right? But they want a guy to be. If if the woman's emotions are up here, they want the man's emotions to be down here to counterbalance that, right? They don't a a, a woman like a, a hetero woman that's looking for for a man. Is not looking for she's not looking for a girlfriend. She's not looking for one of the girls, right? She wants a man. And I'm gonna get into it. First of all, this is Tarek Talks. You guys could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me, and I humbly appreciate it. Women are attracted to men that keep their emotions in check. And when I say emotions, I mean all that lubby dubby, you know, kiss the ground she walks on, lay rose petals uh on the street while she's walking and and I know I'm going extreme and I'm exaggerating but you guys get it right all that super you know caught facetiming her and every five minutes checking up on her calling her you know beautiful gorgeous and and basically that kind of needy type of behavior that is going to ruin attraction with a woman probably 90 percent of the time right it's, it's going to be cute in the, in the beginning, but trust me, a woman is going to get tired of that shit. She's going to be grossed out. She's going to be grossed out because inherently that's how she acts, right? That's how she acts. And I, I, look, I'm just going to say it, say it now. Unfortunately, a lot of guys have never experienced a young lady blowing their phone up, right? They never really experienced a young lady constantly trying to get their attention, right? Or or asking them, constantly asking the guy, hey, do you like me? What do you think of me? You're going to hear these type of questions coming from women, right? A lot of guys haven't, though. And, and if you guys tweak some shit, you will, right? Trust and believe that you will, Okay. But you have to tweak your actions. But like I said, this is what women do. And I know I'm going to get some some women on here talking about, oh, we don't do that. And he should reciprocate and do all of that stuff for me, too. And, and the thing about it is, once the guy starts doing that, once the guy starts 
if her, like I said, if her emotion level for him is this level and he goes above it, that's, that's when the attraction starts going down, right? If her emotional level is right here, okay, and his is up here, see, it didn't even go, go up that much. She start, that's when she starts losing attraction, right? And I'm not saying for the, but, but like I was saying, this is stuff that women do. This is the, this is naturally inherently, they are the ones that seek validation, right? Don't get mad at me. Don't get, don't, don't curse me out. Don't report my shit. This is just how it is. They're the ones that want to, to get clo closer, right? They're the ones that, that want to bond with a man that they're actually attracted to. This is, this is why, you know, that old cliche meme of, of women asking, how do I look in this dress, right? Do I look big in this dress? You guys know what I'm talking about. That's something a woman would ask. That's feminine, that self valid, that validation seeking behavior. When a man does it, right? He's not gonna ask how I look in his dress, but he, but asking something like, "Hey, what do you think about me? Do you really love me? Are are we really in love? Is this going anywhere? I I want to be. You know what I'm saying? When he start going too much with that mushy gushy shit, that's when she's like, "Uh, hold on. Mm, I don't know about this guy. I don't know about Timmy or Billy or Tom. I don't know about him." He acting kind of fugazi right now, right? So with the man being slightly below the emotional threshold, I'm not saying, for, look, I'm going to reiterate this for the third fucking time. But at this point, if, if I get any mad, mad, you know, whoever on my comment, oh, men should display their emo emotions and be more in touch with their blah 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 side then i know that they haven't really watched the, the video all the way through right for the third time i'm not telling men to be emotionless pricks for the third and final time right because as men we love we love a woman's soft touch we love when she caresses us we love when she makes passion right when when we when we're getting passionate when we're getting intimate we love when she softly touches us, so whispers softly in our ear, grabs onto us, right? We love that stuff. We love when a woman shows her nurturing side, when she massages you, when she's when she's talking to you softly, like like asking asking about your day and and asking if you need something, right? We love that. But thing about it is, men, you you know what I'm saying. What you're doing is you're keeping your shit t slightly below hers. So you reciprocate, right? So you let her do all that emotional stuff. You let her be all emotional and lubby-dubby. Then when you see her doing all that, you reciprocate, right? You reciprocate. If y'all laying up together, she start getting all close. She start getting all snuggly and, and you know, saying all this cutesy shit like I like you and whatever she's telling you. Or she start caressing your head and stuff. Then you reciprocate. You start caressing her, right? You start caressing her. She tell you something like, like I love you, baby, or something. You know, that's that's further down for, for the fellas in a relationship, right? She She's telling you, I love you, baby. Like, and there's nothing wrong with a man saying that. There's if 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 she said if she said it if she already said it right. There's nothing wrong with him sprinkling it here and there. But the thing about it is, it's just better for her to do it. It is just better. You can get mad. You could click off this video. You could tell me I'm I'm being an a hole. I don't give a damn. It is naturally better for a woman to do that first. Then when she does it, when she says, "Hey, baby, I love you," or you looking, or you just you're just so fine to me, or whatever she's telling you, you reciprocate it. You look at her after she tells you all that mushy gushy stuff. 
You look at her and tell her, bring your sexy ass over here, right? Then you grab you grab the, the, the booty or you start caressing up on her and you guys get stuff rolling from there. But you see, you see what I said there? You get the gist of what I'm saying is that she should be all that stuff, mushy gushy stuff. She should be exceeding it way more than you. Because a man's place, and I know a lot of people don't believe in, in, in roles. For I got a message for those type of people. Watch how every single relationship, watch how every single dynamic that you try to have, if you, if you are a straight male, right? If you are a straight male, this is my warning to you. If you let this dynamic go to the wayside, right? If you're one of these dudes with, with pink dreads or, or, you know, you're wearing uh, jeans tighter than the female and, and you want to get in, in touch with your feminine and all that and watch how all of your relationships, watch how all of your dynamics with females go to the wayside. Watch how when you exceed that, that emotional level, right? If she's at an 80% emotional level and you go 85 or you go 90, watch how shit quickly goes sideways, right? How it quickly starts getting off balance. Then you start seeing a chick kind of getting a little disrespectful, right? This is this is when you see the, the disrespect. This is when you see her kind of, uh, you know, like kind of talking smart, right? Then she start all that all that emotional shit she was doing in the beginning, like caressing you and touching you and wanting to be intimate. Watch how that slowly starts tapering off. And look, sometimes, and I'm just gonna say it now. Sometimes this might just happen because the chick just lost interest for whatever reason. It might not even be your fault, okay? So I'm just going to say this disclaimer now. But a lot of times, this is why it happens. Because you start acting like like a woman would. So that's going to throw off the bat. It's, it's like a seesaw, right? It's like a seesaw. It's, it's balanced. Then you start acting a little more feminine. You start acting a little more, you know, with all that cutesy shit all up on her, trying to constantly get her validation, blowing her phone up three times a day. Then you're going to start the seesaws kind of slowly start getting off balance. That's when you start kind of seeing her acting real snappy with you. That's when you see her, her B face, her biznotch face, right? She just mean mugging just being very unpleasant to be around. That's when you're going to start seeing that. So that's that's a message for all for everyone that's trying to be politically correct, right? Trying to be politically correct. Hey, look, if as a man you don't mind being in that submissive doormat type of uh dynamic, a lot of but hey, there's some there's some men that are into that type of stuff, right? If that's you, fine, Can't carry on. But if you do mind that, if you do mind uh, being treated like a doormat and and having no love shown to you, right? Having your chick acting like she's G.I. Joe towards you, then keep acting like a, you know, jelly back, mushy, gushy, emotional dude. Because, man, I'm telling y'all, like I said, it's a man's nature is not... His place is not to do all that bonding and and soft stuff. What our job is, to be honest, if we're talking roles here, is to go out and get it, right? What do we what's the next mission for the day? What are what are we trying to accomplish? Of course we're gonna love the woman that we're with, right? If we're in a relationship or what have you. We're gonna we're gonna be loving towards her. Of course, we love a woman's soft touch at the end of a hard day. Yes, we get it. But in all reality, what we do is we go out into the world and we get it. Then we got the gym time. We we have to come. That's extremely important for your masculine development. That gym or physical activity. That's in our. That's our nature is to be physical. Hell, even going out to work or whatever the case is. In some sense, 
That is a physical attribute. That is a physical movement. You're you're going out there and getting it. That's what we're doing. And if we're on the phone 24 seven, sending cute emojis and shit, then that means we're not, we're not doing what we're supposed to be doing. That means we're off balance with it. So when a chick sees this, when she sees that you're constantly all up on her, she's gonna be like, hold on. Something ain't right here. Something is off. Like, I feel like something is off. I feel like this guy is doing too much. What what is he what is he doing through the through the day? Is he just sitting by his phone sending cute emojis? Like you, that's how they're thinking. Like that's how they're gonna think. So I hope this video kind of helped. It was kind of long, but I hope it helped, man. Peace.